Hello, Android Beginning Devs, and welcome to a development tutorial on implementing the KDE, or Known Date Event System. As it stands right now, events that we know the date of are all put into the on startup events. As a part of Vertursus, we're going to move events from here into scripted effects, which get fired every so often, well, every two years rather than have the game store so many different events for so long. This will help with save game size, and it should theoretically also help with game speed, though probably not a large amount. The process to doing this is as follows. You will see whatever your country starting events and startup events here you'll have to go back through check the starting days and inside of the documentation folder inside the enemy beginning github there is event date calculation python scripts the first thing you want to do is use the reverse date calculation now we have to enter the start date, which is 1857, May 11th, or 1857-05-11. Entering that, and then we must enter the amount of days from the start date. That means we take the days here from wherever your event is. For me, it's 1488, and now it gives me the end date, 1861.608. Now. I'm going to look back in the folder with the Python scripts and open up the uh, calculation one for 1860 to 1861. I'm going to enter the date I want to receive the event, which for me is 1861.06.08. It's going to ask the range in which you, the event can fire in days. This just means how many days you want to give uh, like leeway, like if, if I put five, it'll happen within five days of the date I put. So I just put zero because I know the exact date these are supposed to fire. And I see it's 523. Now I can copy this code. I can go to the section on 1860 to 1861. I can paste. I can change the number of days to the new number of days I've seen here, which is 523. And I'm going to label the exact date on the right here. Please label the date. You should always know the date. It's right here, 1861.608. And it is right here, 1861.6.8. Now that I have events here, I'm going to go into On Startup Events and mark this as moved. For any event, like this one for example, which fires 30 days after the start date, it has to stay in the on startup events. Because any event that fires in 1857 will stay in on startup. Any event that fires in 1950, 19, in 1858 or 1859 will go here. Any event that fires 1860 to 61 goes here, and so forth and so on. If you need to add more of these, that is pretty easy, but let me know and I'll add them for you. When making these changes, it is important that you're using the KDE implementation GitHub. We're gonna wait to merge this into Vertursus and then into Experimental until we have made sure that all the events are working fine in this new system, just in case there's any kinks or issues that we so we can work it out on one GitHub branch without having to mess with edits and all kind of stuff. Once you've added your event here, you can then go into on startup, and once you have moved it, you can just simply comment it out. using the hashtag or number symbol, pound, I think we call it in some cases. That will mean that it will no longer file fire 
on on startup and instead should fire using the new system. Once you've added your events to the new scripted effects, make sure you run the game and you make sure they are actually firing at the exact dates. If they are not firing at the exact dates or is there any or if there's any other issue with how the events are firing, you can ping a centurion, myself, vanadium and TPS especially since we're the ones who kind of are working on designing and implementing the system. But once you've but now we should start moving all of the events from here that can be moved into the new system. Thank you.